Welcome to Project Assistance four part series on variance analysis concepts in Microsoft Project 2013. As you may recall, in our information about how baselining works in Microsoft Project 2013, we discussed the concept of the current estimate within a project plan versus the original estimate and the differences between what happens when we baseline a plan from the current estimate to the baseline estimate. There are five fields in Microsoft Project that are used for tracking estimates. Work, cost, start, finish, and duration. And that when we baseline our plan, these fields are copied over from the current estimate to the baseline estimate. As we begin to look at variance analysis, we now see how Microsoft Project automatically calculates the difference between the original estimate and the current estimate. For example, the work field or the current estimated work field can be different from the original baseline work field as the plan changes. The same is true for cost, start, finish, and duration. So Microsoft Project will look at the difference between the original estimate and the current estimate and generate this, these automatically calculated fields called variances. So work variance, cost variance, start variance, finish variance, and duration variance. Let's look at an example. Before we apply the actuals to our project plan, if we have recently baselined, here's an example of a task that had 40 hours of work in its current estimate. There were no actuals, which, meaning, which means the remaining work would be 40. The cost at $100 an hour is $4,000 for this task. It's scheduled to start on November 5th and finish on November 9th, and the duration is five days. Because this plan was just baselined, we also see that the baseline fields have the same contents as the current estimate fields. So the work is 40, baseline work is 40, cost is 4,000, baseline work is 4,000. Same is true for the start and finish dates and the duration. As we begin to update our current estimate fields, we will see variances be generated automatically. For example, in this case, this task was updated with actual work of 24 hours and remaining work of 32 hours. When we add 24 and 32 together, which Microsoft Project will do, we get a, a new estimated work of 56. The baseline is 40, so the variance, which is now unfavorable, is 16 hours, because it's 16 hours higher than the original baseline work estimate. In this case, it's a forecasted variance because the task is still in progress. This is now an estimate at completion, but if this estimate holds true, we will in fact end up with an unfavorable variance. This also impacts the cost. The original baseline cost of $4,000 has now been increased to $5,600, generating an unfavorable cost variance of $1,600. The task was scheduled to start on November 5th. It was changed to November 6th, generating a one-day unfavorable variance, meaning it started a day late. And the finish date was moved from the 9th to the 14th, generating a two-day variance. And it looks like it's more than two days, but in this case, this falls across a weekend. And the same is true for the duration. It was five days. Now it's been changed to seven days, and there's an unfavorable duration variance of two days. In our next three parts, we will cover deeper concepts and demonstrations in Microsoft Project around schedule variance in part two, Work variance is in part three, and cost variance is in part four.